Good morning and welcome to Crafters TV. Now we have got a fantastic lineup this Saturday morning. It's going to be phenomenal. Now today, our theme for all of today's shows is mindful crafting. Now, if you ask a lot of crafters what they want to do in 2023, they will all say a little bit of mindful crafting, taking a little bit of me time, but actually making something really, really pretty in that, that me time. So we're going to be looking at all sorts of things that we think, or my lovely friend Debbie has picked as lovely mindful crafts. We're going to do a little bit of lattice folding, a bit of iris folding and a bit of colouring and a little bit of sewing too. Well, embroidery, not not sewing with a machine. That would <laughs> no. that, that, that could really send her into a <laughs> Did panic. Did you see me I panic? Just heard, I just heard <laughs> <laughs> intake of breath over there when I said sewing. I'm so sorry. Can we introduce her? So, hello, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. I literally broke out into a cold sweat when you said sewing. I'm like, what? No, no. Embroidery. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of embroidery. Or oh, made easy, stitching made easy yes. in forms of dyes. Because I did have a little bit, I had a, a strong input into what's gone into today's shows in terms of colouring. Like Corinne just said, um, lattice folding, um, iris folding. One of my favourites, we're talking to Corinne just before the show, absolutely love iris folding. An age-old craft brought into a more modern mm -hmm. twist. The same with lattice folding, to be fair, which is why I chose it. Um, and then, of course, the craft along later on today. So I'm ready and raring to go. I'm going to start with my lattice folding in a second. But yeah, can't wait. Uh, the only thing I'm not looking forward to, because it's been a while, is the game. I know. We've just been told, Debbie, it's anagrams. Yes. And, and I'm I can't not very spell good. at the best of times. <laughs> I spell like a mad dog. So <laughs> expecting me to be able to see it. Good luck. It's going to be me and Debbie. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. And that's the main thing. And we hope you're going to have fun too. So we already know that everyone is here. So as you know, you can, you've can you seen, it's myself and Debbie here. We've got Jake out there bringing us all the products that we need. And we've got Charlotte and Aria. At the weekend at the moment, we just have one person in the gallery. So we've got our lovely Charlotte there helping to, to steer us through the day. Now, on the socials, we've got Chloe. So she's here just for the first show. Um, I don't know if she, what, who's there for the rest. We'll find out as we go along. So that's exciting, finding out who we've got. And we've also got Suzanne Dawn. We've got Sarah Brown from Melbourne in Australia. Yes, we are all well. Thank you, Sarah. We've got Lynn Harvey um, and Diane Cadman. We've got Cheryl saying good morning, my crafty friends. Watching from bed in Alaska, 2 a.m. here. Wow, 2 a.m. Well, I'm so glad you could join us, um, Cheryl. We've got Georgianne uh, from Clearwater, Florida. Oh, when these two ladies get together, great happens. Well, I hope you enjoy the <laughs> show. We've got Barbara from Indiana. We've got Kelly. Oh, first time here, new to crafting. Well, welcome, Kelly. It's really great to have you along. We do a show that's a little bit different on a weekend, so we're going to do, do a nice little bit of introduction to some mindful crafting, and we're also going to have a good game as well. We've got Anne from a cold but sunny Bournemouth, um, Valerie from Glendale, Arizona. It is cold, she says. And Anne Clark says, good morning, Corinne and Debbie. Well, thank you all for joining us. It's been, it is wonderful to have you along and I will keep reading your messages. Now, Debbie is going to show us um, our demos. If you've got any questions, please put them in here and I will pass them straight over to Debbie. And as soon as we can, we will answer them. But that's what it is all about here on a weekend. It's about education and trying to get you to use maybe some of the products that you haven't always, you know, been using before. So the first ones we're going to look at this morning is our lattice folding. And I love it when you get a die that makes what could be quite a complicated craft so much easier. Now we've got um, six dies in this collection. You've got your double loop. Now what you can see is the die cuts into the cardstock and then you can fold it to create this um, size. And in each set you're going to get a large die and a small die too. But Debbie's going to go through all this with you. You've also got your chevron. Now I love this one. This one is really usable. I love this on the side of boxes because it's narrower. You can get through quite a lot with that one. You've got your double die Diamond, again, another great one. Looks really complicated when, it, when you see it finished, but the dyes are doing all the hard work for you. You've got your star, 
again you're still getting the two dies you're getting your opulence and you're getting your circles now i've seen some lovely cards where this one looks like olympic rings and all sorts really lovely to use so you're going to get all six of these you can pick them individually or you can buy them as a bundle it's entirely up to you but debbie is going to now show you how to use them absolutely so i'm going to show you using the double loop um, and again choosing the two dies that you have in this pack and um, this is when you can really make your cards stand out uh, and like you've just said um, lots of eye-catching um, borders frames all sorts of different things that you can use with them and multiple designs too but very very easy to use it's just a case of choosing which die you want to use do you want to use one or the two so what i'm going to do is take off the largest one i've got some um colored cardstock so i've chosen uh, a water a reactive inky background just to show you how to use this if you are using it with um, any theme in this this little notch at the top gives you an indication where to start so I'm going to pop it onto this side and hold it down with some low tack tape and that just places over the top and then we'll run that through our combination um, using our Gemini machine so it's a case of your bottom cutting plates and then we're going to run it through like a normal thin metal die where we are using our plastic shim our magnetic shim and our other cutting plate on the top and then run that through your machine so when you pop that through that will then die cut all those elements out but it is an age old craft lattice folding in terms it's just paper folding in a lovely lattice intricate design um, that you'll see in a second when i lift this off and it is super super easy to use i'll just do it on this side to show you but what it's got now is all the die cut piece but where it's connected in and this is how you just simply do lattice folding bring it forward and tuck it under and that's all you're going to keep on doing all the way down now this is when you can use glue to hold those into place or tuck them underneath that flap and it's as simple as that so we're going to just bend those two forwards the score lines are already in place for you if you want to reinforce them you can take your bone folder and go over the top to reinforce but it's like hooking and looping underneath so it creates this lovely lattice effect so if i just move that one out of the way for a second just to bring that down a minute you tuck that underneath and then fold again so and the, what i would recommend doing is for this is pop a little bit of glue so i'm going to use a bit of tacky glue just to hold it into place um, on each design and then tuck underneath as well so again i'm just going to pop a little bit of glue underneath and tuck under like so there we go and hold that and that's how i do all of mine i like to have them stuck down uh, you can leave them and just use the the fold if that's what you want to do but i like like i said you like a bit of glue just on there to hold that down into place and continue that pattern all the way down so and again you'll see as it starts to form you start to create that lovely fold and again all you need to remember when you're doing this let me just get that the right way around there we go tuck that underneath and i'll bring that round and I'll do exactly the same on the other side so it holds it into place each and every single time and I'm going to do that with the top one as well just a little bit of glue underneath you can use tape pens um, and um, tacky glue uh, to create that fold but again let's just tuck and go underneath and again I'm just going to bring in my bone folder to put those score lines back into place and a bit of glue again so you get the gist on how that works and I'll do all the way down so you can see how um, easy it is to achieve that look. And again, let's bring that down and tuck underneath. But again, it's a lovely, it is a very mindful craft when you do this um, because you're just playing with your paper and folding each one of those pieces down. And again, if I just do that all the way down, you get the idea. And this one at the bottom, you can either cut away or you can leave it as it is, but um, it's entirely up to you. Um, again, like I said, when you're using your glues and things like that, you can see now that that fold has created that lovely lattice design on each and every single one. So when I remove that in and just bring in the one that I've done to show you when you've got it all done and stuck down and literally you can see the patterns all the way through there the glue in, and it's nice to do that just to keep it all nice and flat and I'm just going to lift it I use the same die on the other side I'm going to just come in now bring that down there you've 
mix a little bit of pop. You can use any kind of cardstock underneath. Uh, when you are sticking it down, though, what I would say is turn it over on the other back and just make sure that you're not going in any of those areas where the glue will show. So, again, just coming in, and I'm going to use my tacky glue just to go all over the top. Bring all that down. There we go. And again, on the other side as well. And that's just to stick it down. Again, you can use your tape pen. I probably would use a dotty tape pen if I was going to do it with, a, the, with a, any of the tape pens. Uh, but tacky glue looks equally as well. And when you pop it on, it gives this really lovely pop and makes that literally stand out but it looks it looks really complicated but it's super easy when you just start folding those pieces down and then bringing it into a card if i just bring in now just going to stick those pieces down onto a card base and add a little sentiment and you've got yourself a really effective looking card okay i'll just come down with my strips just down this side and I've just chosen some matching uh, paper for this in the form of the colour choice. So I've gone with that orange and yellow background. And exactly the same on the other side. Just down there. And then we'll add a quick sentiment. And then you've got yourself that lovely design. Re really, really effective. Really effective. And let's just pop that. There you go. And if I lift that up so you can have a look now, that's what it can look like when you take it into your card making. Uh, glue's always, a, I always use the glue just to stick that down, but you can see that beautiful lattice fold, very easy achieved with your dies to make that simple. Wow, that looks absolutely stunning. And as Debbie said to you, she's done that with the um, double loop, but you could get a very similar effect with the chevron. You could also use the um, the double diamond and the fault and the star, or you could have the opulence and also the circle as well. I just think it is so so effective, isn't it? It really, really is. And I love how that card, Debbie, matches your dress. Do you know? It just I, went do you know? I was so going to say well. to you, I purposely did not choose <laughs> <laughs> when I was doing it. When I did the background, I didn't realise that I wore it because I'm wearing orange all weekend as well. But yeah, I didn't even yes. realise that it had uh, colour match colour match perfectly as well. Yeah. Uh, can course. I show you some more samples though? I think you should. Because I that, think you that should. was that double loop. But all of these really do create some beautiful 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 cards so these are just some of the kind of things when we talked about frames that's using it as a frame i loved your idea of the box that's yes. what i've got planned later i'm making a box and it's going around uh, the box that's base. when chevron i think is so yes, useful because absolutely. it's slimmer isn't but it the same design so i thought i'd show you this one because this is the same design but look how striking and how different and um, contrasting you look yeah i always say when you're using these as well i have a contrasting paper not necessarily double sided papers look lovely uh, but i have a contrasting paper so it really really stands yeah. out and really I think pops. that showed with yours because as soon yes. as you put the black behind it it changed the look of it completely didn't it yeah and this one you can see again oh, that's really really stunning design looks absolutely beautiful having down the side of a, a, a fold back card but using a double-sided paper the same design it's a more subtler look but a really age-old look that really does capture and I, I honestly I absolutely adore it I've got another one that's got two of the similar here um, this is the using uh, the uh, another one of the lattice dies in a form of a um, uh, easel card but look how intricate it looks it looks so complicated but it's really super easy and that's the same design that i've just used with the double loop and again white on white look how lovely this looks with white on white i'm just going to just bring this in just for a second because even though the contrast looks lovely white on white looks gorgeous as well we've talked about this before aren't we i love white on white i know you do mm. corinne uh, don't be afraid of it what about on the side of a card though look at this this is on the um what do we oh, call it? Wow. The spine of a card. Yes. So used on the spine of the card looks absolutely exquisite. It really does make things pop. And then that lovely design, again, double-sided paper, um, using uh, the same coloured cardstock, but then a, a contrasting colour underneath makes it pop. That's the same design again. This one's the same design. You can see just how fabulous these really look when you start to have a play around. This one I love because this one's been using the small of the dies yeah. um, and then just twisted and yeah. dropped and twisted. And it looks so clever, really, really beautiful. And then the same die 
but on the longer one, looks absolutely stunning. They're just fabulous. I, I really love these dies, and I love the fact that it is a mindful craft because you get a little bit lost when you're paper folding. Yeah. And before lattice folding, you used to, it used to be quite complicated. We've simplified it by bringing them into a die form. We've given you choices from a large die to a small die so that you've got that ability to get creative with it. Um, and a nice one as well because you can extend it. So if you want it to be on a longer piece, or maybe a scrapbook page, you can extend it because you just line it up side by side and you've got an extended and look. And having that little notch at the top helps to helps, do that, to, yes. to line them up, doesn't yeah. it? And know where your starting point is yeah. for that starting point for the fold down because you could get a little bit a little bit complicated, but it's, it's really straightforward. It that notch is there to help you get started in terms of folding and just folding back, and that's all it is. I really love the lattice folding, which is why I wanted to include it in today's Mindful Crafting theme. Thank you, Debbie. So if you do love your um, lattice folding, then these are definitely the dies for you. There's six of them there that you can see, and they're just going to make your lattice folding so much simpler. Now, that means if we've done the first demo and it's a Saturday, we need to get ready for our game. So before we go on there, let's have a quick look who else is with us. Oh, Kathleen says she also loves your um, dress, Debbie. That's Kathleen from Pennsylvania. Christine Mahoney is there. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Carol 16 says, I love the lattice dies. They make a stunning card. It's great that Crafters Companion bring us old and new techniques. Yes. Thank you. Well, that's what we want to do because very often we buy things, we put them in a drawer and then we forget about them. So this is just uh, to sort of help you to sort of reinvigorate some of the products that you might already have. Oh, Michelle Parsons says, I've just received this set of dies. Can't wait to try them out. Kelly Morrison says, looks lovely, so effective. Alison Lee says, I remember years ago when you had to cut these by hand. Oh, well, yes. That is what it's all about, is bringing you the tools to make it easier. And again, it makes it more mindful, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Barbara says, sorry, I have an extremely affectionate kitten this morning. He keeps <laughs> cuddling on the tablet, makes it hard to type. Well, good morning, Barbara, and to the kitten too. Um, <laughs> Michelle Parsons says, these dyes make such interesting backgrounds. Yeah, they do, because yes, it's do. almost like an emboss effect. Suzanne Dawn says, wow, so striking. Michelle says, easy card, but doesn't it look complicated? Um, oh, Rachel Brown says, I tried this years ago when, when you used to use a stencil and cut it all out with a craft knife. Mm. Knife put me off for life. Well, hopefully, maybe the dyes will make you think about doing it again. Christine says, hello, Debbie, Corin and the team. Angela Essex says, loving these dyes, amazing. And Adriana says, good morning, everyone from San Antonio, Texas. So excited for the weekend. Well, so are we. Oh, Carol likes the white on white cards. So sophisticated. Mm. Um, love this collection, says Beth. Um, and Sarah Brown says, good luck. Right, perfect. So, right now, let me get my board. I think we'll need the good luck. I think we are going to need the good <laughs> luck. I think that good luck was for the game because Sarah knows that I don't do very well. Now, you can see we've got a lovely split screen now, so you can see both myself and, oh, that way, that way, over there, Debbie, as well. I know, it's, it's, it's always all reverse. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's that weird, way. isn't it? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, go like that. There we go. Point to each other. You can even high-five, couldn't you, look? Look, yeah. go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me come closer. Oh, God, I'm oh, tripping up. I'm tripping up. Uh, there you go. <laughs> high-five. <laughs> oh, dear, we do there get silly. Dear. Right, now, it's anagrams. Charlotte, oh. do we have a theme to these anagrams, please? Not really. OK. And we found out help. it's one of our junior members, isn't it, on the yes. team, our lovely Jamie, who's, um, well, he's, he's, he's a man of many, many talents. Yes. He's one of our... Uh, so this could, be, this could be absolutely everything. As long as it's not game state, you know, those plays... Well, I can't even say it. PlayStation yes. or games or anything like yeah. that, that'll be fine. If it's craft-related, we're all right. Well, I think. Oh, it's craft-related. Oh, it's craft-related. That's, That's okay. OK. OK, now, Charlotte, who am I playing for? I'm Facebook, I'm going to write that up here. Right, so if I'm playing for Facebook, then that means that our Debbie is playing for YouTube. Yes. So it's two rounds of five, ten goes in total, and whoever gets the highest score, so if it's, face, if it's me, Facebook, if it's Debbie, YouTube, we will pick, our uh, Chloe will pick five viewers who comment, so please make sure you comment because Chloe doesn't know you're there if you don't comment. She'll pick five of you at random and you'll each receive, um, I think it's £10, $10 gift voucher um, um, sent to you automatically to use on our store. So definitely worth commenting for um, a gift voucher. 
So, deep breath, Debbie, are you ready? I'm ready. OK, let's go. Let's go. First one. <laughs> right. Is there... Is there... a relevance to the capital C? <gasps> oh, my Axel God. Axel Tanny Fit. <laughs> i got a clue. Right, I've been told to pay attention to the capitals. So let me work this one out. So right. I, can do... I have to write, I don't know about you, but I have to write it onto the top of my board and then try and work out what I think it might be. Um, I think could be this. Right, let me just see if it works. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh. One, two, three. Well, that's straight out of the window, Debbie. Hmm, that's not what I thought it was then, so it's not that. Oh my God, this won't wipe off. Oh my days. This is, this is the weirdest um, wipey, but hang on a minute, I need to just uh, grab a wipe. Just bear with me. Um, I think I'm gonna need a clue. Do you need a clue? Well, I've got craft can canny. <laughs> craft can. <laughs> okay, can we have a clue? And I will share the clue with everybody. One of best. Oh, ah! What? Yes! I've got it! One of Ben's big can, hits. Can you put the thing back on for me? Because I've, I've scribbled all my words off. No, that's not going to work either. I have absolutely no idea. And I know it's terrible because I love my lovely Ben. But I don't know what that is. Right, I know there's a craft in it. Yeah. And then what le letters have you got left? Um, let me just write it down again. This is really hard for me. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So let me just take that off. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got an answer. I won't change it. Go on, you, you're going to have to have it because I, I, I can't work out my last little bit. So this is you're using a permanent marker, Debbie. And do you know, well, this was what Charlotte gave me, but I'm having to wipe it off first. And it's it because but it's not wiping complete, so that's why I've had to use a wipe to get it off. Okay. Um, no, I've only got craft. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm I'm bowing out of this one because I don't you know. Them. Crafty can can. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Oh, do you know? Absolutely hopeless. Well done. Well done. I only did it by writing down and knocking off the letters that I'd used. That's what I normally do, but what I thought it was wasn't what it was. And then I was left with words that I had. Do you got. know what? Once you go down a route, it's hard, hard to, to get back it's out It's hard of to it. come back up I that did tunnel, tell you, we it? have a programme over here called Countdown, don't we? Yeah. Where there's anagrams. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I watch it whenever I can. However, I'm rubbish at it. As it's proving yeah. right now. <laughs> Right, well, I assume a lot of you are getting that right. Chloe has been very good and she is not... Oh, she just said lots of correct answers. So she's not put, passing them through to me. Not that I'm looking. OK, can we see the second one, please, our Charlotte? Ooh. Oh, my dear. Oh, this... Oh, I know that one. Yeah, that I know that one. Yeah. Sometimes I can see them, sometimes I can't. And I think it's... Cos I, I, I get what he's done for us with the capitals, about paying attention to the capitals. Now I get it. Ooh. It could be it. It could be that way around. I feel like I've redeemed myself from that first one now. Ooh, have I got a clue, please? What's my clue? <laughs> the destination. Oh! Let me see if that works. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Okay. Have you got launch day? I've got launch day too. <laughs> you see, sometimes I can see them, sometimes you know, I sometimes can't. If, that's it. You I just saw need that to. instantly. Oh. And I didn't need a clue. Get me. Huh? Don't get me. says use hand gel to get the marker pen off. There you go. Ah, thank you. Right, yes, yes. There well, we I'm go. just, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I will, um, I, I know we've got some somewhere. But it's fine with this for now. It'll be all right. Okay. For a couple of more, yeah. Number three. 
Bryce knows. <laughs> Bryce knows what? <laughs> right. Again, I'm going to have to write this down because I haven't seen this one straight away, but I know... Right, so that is... Yeah. Uh... Right. Hang on a minute. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> When is it when you can see things easily and then others you just can't see? You see, I want it to be scoreboard because that would you work, wouldn't You see in my it? head. Did you know it's that weird? Oh, we must be seeing something. Because it's not scoreboard. No, I know it's not, but in my but head, S and B, I'm thinking scoreboard. That's yeah. what I'm looking thinking, that's not fitting. Um, we need a clue. We need a clue. A soft... <gasps> yes! A soft crap. Deary me. You got it? Deary me. Yep, I've got it now. Whew, Just a minute, let me write that? it. Would you have got that without a clue? I would never have got I it. I would have never got that without the clue. I'm just going to check. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. OK, you ready? Becky it's Swan! Becky Swan! Yay! There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> What was that? Was that three? Is that yet? Yeah. Just let me be doing this all morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. No, a very timing. easy one. So we've got a. Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes you just see them. You got it. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Oh, there's a C as well. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> That's going to be easy, I think. Yes. Let me, let me... Is it what I think it is? Yes, it is what you think it is. Let me write it down. Right, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yep. Crap, it's TV. TV. Well, even, <laughs> let's just see. Can we just see what his clue was, please? Oh, uh, this is... Uh, this, uh, this. Your favourite channel. Oh, there you go. I love his clue I for just that wanted, one. I just wanted to see what his... Uh, his clue was. That's a good clue. That was a good one. Last one then. Ready? Okay. Five. Ooh, oh dear Alan Lord. 50 oh, another one easy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying is it? Yes, it is. Well, I think I know what it is. See what I mean? Like, like some words. You just, they just, they just come forward oh, and like no. bang you right in the face and then there's others you look at them and you're staring at them for absolutely ages like i was with the first one didn't have a clue <laughs> i thought it was something but i've got an extra letter oh has he done an extra one let's have a look then uh, 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 uh. 50. so why is the L, why is the l capital So I've got, just a minute. Oh, I could be completely, I could be completely wrong here, but I thought if I go... Do you know what? T, uh, Do you know what? what? I'll tell you in a second. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, is Mr. Word out? Yeah. He's missed the letter out. He's left, left an F out, hasn't he? Um, in my reckoning, it's a... It's, uh No, there's two Fs there. I know what it is. I just think there's why a letter is, missing. Why is there a capital L? Uh, I don't know. Cos... Oh, I get you. Yeah. Has that thrown you? Yeah. I might have got this wrong then. Me getting right clever. I could have got that I, wrong. Should we say what I've got? I've, I've got, got totally Tiffany. Totally Tiffany. I've had... <sighs> but why is there Yes. A oh, he tried L? to trick us. He tried to trick he us. He did. Wow. Wow. We'll wow. be having words with Jamie when I'm up on Wednesday. I still feel like I should have a bonus point because three of those I got really quickly. You don't get them for time. It's not on a decreasing point score, you know, lovely. I just, I just thought, you know, might try and boost the YouTuber. Use, you, might <laughs> boost it up a little bit. No. Who knows? Well, it's four or five. It's not bad. We've done I don't very think we've well. done too bad. I think you've done amazing. It's better than we normally do. <laughs> it's better than we normally do. <laughs> Let's see. Has anybody... Have I got any comments from our Chloe? Oh, lots. So, there we go. Oh, she's laughing at us. 
she's laughing at us there we go <laughs> right now i hope you did well and please make sure you are commenting um as you're guessing obviously chloe's not passing them through to us because she doesn't want us to or me in particular <laughs> to cheat which is not what we did i worked it all out myself um but um, if you comment then you stand a chance to win um at the end of the second round as well and i'd love to know that five of you have have won so uh, Keep watching, keep commenting, and uh, that's what it's all about. It's all about that community, isn't it? That inclusivity. So uh, it's lovely to share with that. Now, let me get... I haven't got this ready. The next thing we're going to look at is iris folding. Now, Debbie's already told you that this was one of her favourite crafts quite some time ago. And again, this is another one that Crafters Companion have tried to make easier for you. Look at that dress. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the texture. Now... I thought this was really complicated and I'd never done iris fold until I came up to Crafter's Companion. But do you know, when you've got the die, when you've got the stencils and you've got the paper strips, you've got everything that you need. Whether you're making a dress or you're doing, oops, got that, oops, other way around, a butterfly, a gift box or a hot air balloon. Imagine that on a baby card, that would look beautiful you've got your balloons you've got your bottle and i think i've seen that one on debbie's desk oh look at the poppy oh i've never seen the poppies beautiful aren't they absolutely gorgeous now you'll always get the right colored strips to go with these or the rose the english rose those are the ones that we have done over the years so if you have got any of these and you're not using them or you're tempted to get them then go and have a look on our website so if you ever want to have a go at iris folding, Debbie is going to show you how easy it is to achieve. And it really is easy. It's one of those age-old crafts that's been brought really bangs back um, into the uh, in, in, right now into the future. Perfectly easy to use and to do because we've thought of absolutely everything that you need in the terms of the die to cut your aperture out. So on this one, I'm going to use the congratulations. So you've got the die that will create the aperture in every single one of the sets. Um, and then you have some little accessories on board as well. So we've got a little um, champagne glass or a wine glass, um, including the cork and a little cheers one on there for you as well. For me, what is the main part of this is that makes iris folding incredibly easy is this template. And we have this template that's got all the number grids on with the design to make the iris folding super, super easy to achieve. We've even gone down the line of taking paper pads and bringing it into the, the, the strips that you need. The only thing you're going to do is uh, maybe take a scoreboard to score down the centre um, to get your folds really perfectly done. So I've already got some re pre pepped here to, to the side, but I'm going to show you just how simple this is to use. Um, and again, it just is one of those lovely mindful crafts every single time so the die the outside die i've taken a piece of multi-purpose cardstock um, to create the aperture so you're just going to run that through your die cutting machines the rest will come to it in a second when we've done this and then what we've got is the grid and the grid simply just places over the top now how i do this is i turn it over i match it up to the aperture and then i stick that down using some low tack tape you can either just hold it at the top or hold it at the bottom as well, depending on the, you know, the look that you want. So I've got to hold it on both for this, just to show you how this is used now. So you've got your grid, you've got your aperture already cut. Now it's simply following the numbers. So you're going to start at number one and work the way all the way down. Like I said, I've taken these pieces of cards, well, paper that are already uh, pre-scored for what I've done at home. But all you'll need to do is simply fold it in half and burnish because the iris fold needs to be when you're using these is where that fold is so again another thing that you're going to need as well is low tack tape or you can choose a glue or a tape pen to hold down the pieces of cardstock i prefer low tack tape but again this is down to a personal choice so what we're going to do now first of all is we are going to go to that number one you can take scissors depending on how neat you want it to be what i want you to remember that this is the back part of your card so this is the bit that's not going to get shown uh, we're just simply using this a grid so i'm just going to tear mine off it is entirely up to you again it's that personal choice so we're going to start with number one and we're going to use those pieces of card paper um, just to pop over and simply hold into place 
and you'll do that and follow it. It's like painting by numbers. That's how I refer to it. The fold itself goes to that line. So you're just going to place it over the top and it really is as easy as this, but it's very mindful. It's very therapeutic. I'll come to sticking those bits down in a second. But what I'm going to continue to do is just tear. And like I said, you can take your little scissors if you want a bit, a bit more neater. You could take your scissors and chop those down to size as well. It's a, again, it's that personal choice, but we'll just continue with the card and the paper. And once these papers have gone, you can use any paper. All you'll just need to do is remember to pop it into a fold and then use that fold on each one as you're coming down. Again, it's very mindful. It's just remembering to follow it by those numbers. And we'll continue to do a few of those all the way down and then we'll ch we'll change up the color in a second again you can use any of these colors i've used a different color in my finished one but it, it's just to show you how easy this is to achieve these looks so number eight we're going to stop there because number nine is down at the bottom this is one of the changes paper up so what i'm just going to do is just hold just on that other side just down there and then we'll come down to the bottom part as well so i'll change up that color a little bit and then we'll come in and go down to number nine so Number nine, then number 10 is this side, so we'll go to number 10 and so on. And we'll just keep following that grid and it creates the most loveliest of looks. And again, every single time, just remember you fold up to that line and then hold it down with your chosen glue or tape, depending on the look that you want to achieve. We'll just put a couple more down on there. Let's go in with a different colour. And I absolutely love this craft. What you will do is you will continue to follow. So we'll car would carry on 14, 15, and just carry on following those numbers each and every time. And what will happen when you're finished is you will end up with, and if I just take off just there, you can start to see that fold. It's like the iris of an uh, of your eye of a camera, if you think of a lens, and it just brings and draws you in. And I'm going to bring in my finished piece because I've actually bought some decorated parts. Remember, coming back to those dies, you've got accessory dies which is what I've used for this so I've just used a different color as you can see I've used the yellow that comes in the, uh, in that cardstock for you um, and then just followed that pattern down I've added a couple of the champagne glasses on that's on your die set and I've added a little bow and I've popped my cheers just onto the bottom ready to pop into that fold of a card but it really is such a lovely craft it's a very mindful craft um, every single time you do this the effect that you get is where it just draws you in to the eye of that center part and it, it brings it, it rotates it round it's absolutely super effective but it's been made easy in the terms of um, the dies and the stencil that, that they're already there for you in each kit. So what I'm just going to do now is just bring in my card. I've gone in with a, an easel card for this one, uh, using multi-purpose cardstock again, and I've chosen some celebrations paper. Um, I'm just going to though, because obviously on the back, I did say it would look a little bit messy. I've used red liner tape because I want to cover this up. So I've, ta I've taped it all down, but popped some red liner tape on because what I've done is I've taken another piece that measures five by seven to cover over the back so that you can't see where all the magic has happened. You don't need to see that little bit. All they need to see is that focus on that iris folding, which looks stunning. And it is such a therapeutic, mindful craft. Um, I absolutely adore Iris Folding that we've brought uh, an age old craft into uh, the, literally the 21st century is how I look at it. Um, it's an old craft that used to be quite fiddly, but now has been simplified with the use of dies and that template. And that template isn't one that you're gonna throw away. It's one that you're gonna use over and over and over again. And then I've just got myself a little stopper, the little bow just onto that front. And again, you can see how effective it looks when you have used all your tools to be able to create um, iris folding and a simplified version, but looks absolutely stunning. Thank you, Debbie. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, just changing how you use it will change the look completely, but you can see how um, it just matches up and what it, whichever one you go for, you are going to get that amazing, amazing result. We've got some beautiful ones just here. 
all using those dies and stencils that's beautiful isn't it to make that iris folding so much simpler i love the butterfly one absolutely beautiful, aren't they? love they'd be honestly beautiful it's just it's just one of those really lovely relaxing crafts yeah um and when we talk about the papers that we have you if they've gone and we you know you don't want to get any more you can use any oh, any paper no, any cardstock i had a mes message here I've got loads and loads of messages about the iris folding um so well, i don't know where i've got up to um i've got carol saying i love iris folding and i've made the champagne bottle for my grand Grandson's 21st later this year. Brilliant. Lean says, uh, Leanne Lean, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how you say that one. I love iris folding. I sometimes use gift wrap paper <gasps> because of the pretty patterns on it. Yes. yes. Perfect. Um, Sweet Imp says, I'm tempted to buy the iris folding but using the templates with fabric. Oh, wow, that would look gorgeous. Oh, I'll please send us some pictures if you do do that. Michelle Harris says, looks relaxing. Shadaya says, I use the dress and make three cards for my sister's best friend and then I glued them on picture easel stand. Still waiting for a niece to send the pictures. Love iris folding. Pam Patton says, I enjoy my iris fold kit I got from Crafters Companion. They make it so easy and relaxing. And it's lovely because once you cut the die out, it's something that you could do on your knee, um, you know, on holiday or in front of the TV. It's, you know, it's a quiet sort of take a deep breath and breathe craft, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it is absolutely that. Oh dear, so Susanna, so I'm sorry to hear this, says really happy I can join in today's live. Not been feeling well since Christmas, so my weekends have just been spent resting. Aww. Feel much better today. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Susanna. That's Susanna Stevens. It is great that you could join us. Um, Beth Lucas said Iris Fold is definitely a cool effect. Um, Michelle Parsons says we have lots of paper medical tape. I learned it worked great as a low tap tape, yes. the mother of invention. Yes. Why not? Exactly. I often find that once it's finished i will put some low tap tape or some masking tape or the some um, washi tape yeah just around the back to like you did with that last piece to catch yeah. all your edges yeah um pamela greenidge says i've never tried this but going to give it a go carletta says lovely cards so does dorothy and so does christine mahoney so thank you so much and if you want to do that and as debbie said you can buy the paper strips we're showing them so like that's the english rose the butterfly you can see all those gorgeous gorgeous colors congratulations you can see where debbie got all of those different colors from and when you look at the greens can you see how they change and the yellows you get those changes those subtle changes of color in there now you don't have to use these colors these are just sort of our suggestions but it's entirely up to you i love that one that's the glamour uh, but you could change it to any that you like. And as one of our lovely viewers said, how about gift wrap paper or, you know, you could use your paper pads, but they get a little bit sort of heavier weight. Yes. So this is what these are. That's why gift wrap paper and these pads work so well is because um, they're just a little bit lighter weight for when you have all that weight on the back of your car. So there we go. So that was a lovely, um, a quick introduction to Irish folding. We are going to do some more in our later show tonight at yes. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah. So if you did like that, then please um, tune in then because I know Debbie's going to. Which one are you going to be doing? I'm going to use the English rose. Oh, is it the English rose they call it? The yeah, rose? English rose. Yeah, the rose one. Yeah, we're going to mm -hmm. do one of those because again, each one beautiful and, and different effects that you can get with uh, any of the designs. Absolutely, can't wait. Brilliant. Right, Not now sure you've seen we've, already, we've changed onto our double screen here. So that means it's time for round two. Now I'm going to have to be careful because Debbie is going to be on one now. <laughs> She's going to be on one now to, to try and... 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. It's so close, <laughs> Debbie. claw back. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, Charlotte. I haven't heard Char you still there, Charlotte? Oh, I'm not hearing Charlotte. Can you hear her? Oh, I can hear her, yes. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. No, I've not got uh, I've not got Charlotte in my ear anymore. Oh. Oh. Well, I right. tell you what. She says we're ready. She says so she's going to put it on the screen. Oh, she's going to put it on the screen for us. There right. we go. Um, there we oh. go. I've not got her at all. So <laughs> can you I'm see? I'm like, that? what the heck? That should be easy. I'm just going to put that down there just for a second because what I think it might be. Oh yes. Now, why am I not got Charlotte in my ear anymore? I don't know. It's totally, totally, totally. Oh, gone. yes. 
Yeah. Oh, seriously, sometimes I do wonder about myself. You see what I mean about saying about it, can, like literally just yeah. straight away, or I have to work it out. Um, are you ready then? Uh, are I you am. Ready? Right. Charlotte, have so, you muted me? Because I've got my buzzes. My <laughs> talk back's working. I've just not got Charlotte in my ear at all. So I don't know what's happened. I think paper pad. Paper pad. There is that go. correct? Oh, we didn't even need a clue. We didn't need a we clue. We didn't need How a clue. Good are we? We are super clever. Although right. you are because you're one in front. Six five, is that Six, right? Six five, Six, yes. Six five. Is. Yep. Right, come on then. Let's see okay. if I can claw it back. Ready right. for the next one? Ooh, ale two. Um, um. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Something so small you would think I'd know. Hail Tooth. Hail Tooth. I think I'm going to have to have a clue soon for this one because I really can't see this one. Uh, uh, uh huh. That way. Ooh, this one's that a bit way. more difficult. Are well, you it's thinking it's difficult? Letters, aren't it? Are you but... thinking it's difficult as well? Yeah. Because I'm looking at an accurate. Oh, 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 dearie me. Right, I'm just going to go off the screen for one minute. One minute. Just be one I, minute. I shall come back I, in a minute. I think I might have got this. Have you got that one? I think I've got it. That took some doing. Yes, I've got it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, right. I'm back with you. I'm back with you. Yay! Are you away. back? I've got a different noise in my ear. You did need to see me slightly <laughs> undressed. I know Going I down saw, the dress. I know we wear these done dresses, that. but we forget we've got to get all those equipment on. There we and go. And it's not right. always okay. easy. Now, so, ooh. yes. Right, let me just concentrate now. I can hear you, Charlotte. Sorry. <laughs> right. Oh, this could have Ooh. thrown her off a little bit now. I might be able to claw Can back. Can I have a clue, Charlotte? No clues, no clues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's too easy. Wait till I see Please. that, Jamie. I Wait till I see that, that Jamie. Oh. I've got my cross face now. I couldn't see that even then. I, I'm, I'm a bit cross now, Corinne, because I thought I'd clawed it back because you didn't know that one. I didn't. You I didn't know that one, but that one is way too... That's too easy. Too easy, Charlotte. Right. Make I've notes. Got too easy. Heat it's tool. a heat tool. Oh. I've got... Oh, I was, I was on the wrong line because I'd got hot. Yes, so I saw hot. So, so and what then I did I couldn't there, get my other word yeah, out. Exactly. I, I was on that same path as you, but then I manoeuvred off that path, went down the right path without a clue. Yeah. I should be having bonus points for this show. Julie Barlow. Charlotte, says this is what I'm saying, so I should be having bonus points. I haven't had any clues for a while. The the Julie Barlow says the capital letters help. Yes, they definitely do. And Michelle Parsons says, here we go again with a frustrated face. Now I'm not sure whether that's because she's getting frustrated or she's just I'm getting the frustrated because I'm trying to win for YouTube. <laughs> Is what I'm trying. Right. Come on, Facebook. Not We're working. on a roll. We're on a roll. Oh no! For goodness' sake, this one's too easy. <laughs> is it? Yes. Yeah, this is a good point and straight out. I don't need a clue. I don't need a clue. See, another bonus point. Oh, I should I've be... seen it. Oh. Now, can I spell it right? Yeah, no, oh. that's the only thing, isn't it? Too easy. See, sometimes, you see, that would have been a good conundrum one. Do you know at the very end? Do you know the very end of countdown? Very end of countdown, where it's just that one word. Had I got that? Had I been there? Beep! 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 Really, Debbie's about 10, yeah. 10 to your whatever right. you've got now. Because, you didn't need uh, to see that because I spelt like, even with all the letters on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, don't even need a clue. But, come on, you can see it straight away. See, I, I shouldn't have any clues. But, because... Is it as easy as it looks? Yeah. <laughs> because... <laughs> that easy one of the words is there <laughs> no do you think he got called away at the desk at the time do you think he got called away and perhaps he got sidetracked do you think somebody was twittering in his ear and he completely forgot to change that first word maybe <laughs> and swapped some round producer Charlotte you said it's creative chick. cravings <laughs> but it can't be can it of course it is is that what you've got <laughs> yeah, Debbie creative cravings yeah absolutely okay Oh, oh, that's the Oh, well, there's no chance of me clawing back now, is there? What the heck? 
a G and an M, and then O that way. Let's have a look at that. So, uh, 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 uh. right, so that one is off. That one is off. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Have yeah. You? I need a clue. I need a clue for you this one. You don't. I do. Give me my clue. Let me just have a quick peek. I star in almost every show on Crafters TV. What? Oh, well, I think you're going to have to have this one because I, this... Can I this. I'll give you a clue? You're within two feet of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my little love. I wouldn't have got that. <laughs> what, what, you got that in your head? Yeah, it's just, isn't it weird? I just, this is what I say about these games. You either see it straight away yeah. or you don't at all. Well, if I'm right, let's have Gunner down the wrong pigeon, <laughs> the wrong rabbit hole. Glass, Glass mat. mat. Yay! Glass mat. Look at me putting an extra tea in there. <laughs> Look at me putting a... Look, it's still the wipe off on its own. Guess I need what? that cloth. Guess what, Debbie? You won! The ten out of one. ten! And the ten, full house. it's definitely in first ten. Oh, I'm happy. Jamie, you can do it every week. <laughs> every week. Because <laughs> that's my first ever ten. Oh, it's nice when you get a ten, isn't it? It is a right, nice one so when you get a 10. that means that five of you from Facebook that have commented are going to be selected by our lovely Chloe. I will read your names out in a minute and then we'll give you the email address just down here for you to email in. If you can email in to the address we give you in a few minutes, once our Chloe's picked five of you, then we will send you your voucher. So that's really good fun. Oh, gosh, that was quick. Right, OK. The winners are, I've got them already. Wow. Oh. Dorothy Clark, Bernie Sale, Polly Coe, Lillian Kwok, and Marcia Ernst. Ernst, I think that's right, Ernst. So, if you five, please, congratulations, can, there you go, look at that. Oh, go that way around, there we go. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com, all the way down there. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com. If you five can please email in, then we will arrange for your voucher to be sent out. I don't know if it goes out today or maybe Monday once the office is open. I'm not sure. I'm sorry about that. But there you go. So, oh, we've got a vote. We've yeah. got a vote. Yeah. I've forgotten about that. I know, yeah. We are, are we we're out of time on like, oh my goodness. Ages. Uh, right, so the vote is, number one, we started with the lattice folding. So if I just push that there, lattice folding, colour coordinated with Debs today. Uh, so number know, one. It's impressive. Or number two, with the beautiful, gorgeous iris folding dies, number two. What would you like, one or two, to be your card of the show? Right, we've got hopefully maybe two or three minutes and then we can go through it. Right, now, let me reach under here. Oh, I should have got that beforehand. Now, <laughs> this afternoon, as we said, the next show is our craft along and our Debbie is going to be doing the embroidery dies. But then when we come back at six o'clock, we're going to be looking at some more sort of um, ways that you can do mindful crafting. And one of the most mindful crafts is colouring. Now, I know it scares a lot of people and we, we try to give you so much education to help you to improve your colouring. It's helped me, I can promise you. But our classics is sort of where it all began. So these are um, our bundles of our classic pens. Now our classic pens are a single colour pen. So these are one of the pens with the most ink in, so that they've got the, because the barrel is full of the same ink. It's not like our tri bends where we've got to split the barrel into it like a third. You're going to get the full pen worth of ink. Now, in each pen, if I can show you, oops, sorry, on the back of here, you're going to get your um, bullet nib and you're also going to get your chisel nib. Oh, that's not a very good colour one to show up. I can't find one that's, they're all quite dark. They've got really dark colours on there. Maybe it shows you up a little bit better. You can see the, the bullet and the chisel on there. Now, we're selling these um, in, you can see different ones. We do packs of 12, we do packs of threes. We do them individually. And we also do them in our lovely big boxes of 24. 
think it's 24, I think it's 24 or is it 36? So you can buy them in lots of different ways. Now the classics are absolutely brilliant. They're an alcohol based pen. So you can do your gorgeous colour blending. Look at those. And our oh, Debbie's got some more samples to show you. Yeah. Just, uh, look at these. Honestly. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. sorry. There we go. I'm going to go to Debbie's <laughs> ones. <laughs> and we're ready. And we're ready. Hey, we Charlotte, thought. she were pressing the buttons too soon. Uh, yeah, do you want to have a little close look? Because honestly, I adore colouring, which is why I had to have it in today's theme with our mindful craft. Because for me, it's the best mindful craft oh, ever. Um, but yeah, with our alcohol pens, you can create some really stunning effects. Um, and we're going to show you, and it is a permanent system. It's one of those systems that you're buying into but you know, don't need to replace your pen because um, it's a re-inkable pen, um, which is why I love the classics and I love the idea that you can create the most beautiful pieces every single time you stamp or colour. Um, it, they're just absolutely phenomenal and I'm really looking forward to showing you a little bit more later on tonight with the classics. But we also we have some more, don't we? Yep, we will, yep. all, as well as the classics, we'll also be looking at the illustrators, which are a gorgeous pen. If you you've never used those as well but we'll show talk about those earlier and I forgot about the classics being refillable when we were talking about that so yeah that is a, another reason why you might like to follow down the classic route now Debbie we have a winner oh do we Ooh, yes we do that was quick Ooh, that was quick Ooh. go on then what which one be, is it what would be your guess um personal favorite yes I love Irish well, would you're, you're going to be a happy bunny then because uh, that's the one that's <laughs> won today. Yay! I do. I love, I love any kind of mindful craft. I don't know yeah. about you, Corinne, but I absolutely love anything that takes me away from... It stops your head racing, yeah, doesn't it? it? And, yeah, and just takes you out of your everyday yeah. kind of thinking and life because it just draws you into what you're creating. So for me, any of them today, whether it be the iris, the lattice, the colouring, um, they're just some of my personal favourites, which is why I had a hand in putting this show together in fact, I had a strong hand because I picked everything that I wanted. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and Iris Folding is right up there for me in terms of mindful craft. Um, therapeutic, lovely, takes your mind off. Absolutely adore it. Well, so, I yes. was just looking on the on the shelf. Yeah. And I think three of the four up there already are yeah. your cards. Are they? Yeah. Then you're going to have your winner today. And then you're going to have your winner tomorrow. So I think the odds... <laughs> No. Now you've cursed me now, Corin. You've cursed me for that. No, no, star. no, 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 no. It's gonna be you've got good odds. You've got good odds, our Debbie. So we shall see. Um you've got who are you with tomorrow? Are you with Debbie? I'm with our Craig. Are yes. you with our Craig? With our Craig. Oh, that's gonna be interesting then, because all of the winners on the shelf are gonna be either yours or Craig's. You're kidding me. I'm not. Did Jan not get something yesterday? No, there's nothing up there with Jan. Oh, not. do you know why it might be being photographed? Ah. It's being photographed. I was Is gonna it? say oh, I love right. Jan okay. was here yesterday. So it will appear. It yes. will appear. It could be our Jan getting her first star on the board tomorrow. Yes. Brilliant. Right, now, if you want to um, join in later, have we got anybody crafting along with us later? We haven't. So it's just our Debbie doing the craft along And later. it's a nice two-hour show as well. And Yeah, it's going to be a two-hour show, so it's all about the embroidery dies. Did I see a scrapbook page? Yes, so I'm going to do a scrapbook page. There and the, pi go. the picture that's on the socials is just a, a, it's like a, just a generic picture. It's just so to you give you an idea of what we're going to be doing uh, but obviously I'm going to personalize it because um, it's yours why not it's going to be my, my scrapbook page but it's all about those embroidery dies um, and I promise you if you've never picked up a needle these are going to be perfect for anybody who's just starting anybody who's been doing it a while or, or somebody who is a more experienced embroiderist I'm not I'm just going to tell you right now I'm a paper crafter I love paper crafting but I love something that allows me to achieve the looks of what an embroiderist could do or somebody who's been sewing for years um, so yes so we're gonna we're gonna take it back strip it back real-time crafting full two hours can't wait brilliant and then six o'clock we'll be looking at the iris folding the lattice folding and the two sets of pens so I really do hope you could join us and thank you so much for joining us this morning and congratulations to our five winners don't forget to email into that address but until for till then so two o'clock UK time 9 a.m. East Coast time we're going to have a little break now and we'll be back with our craft along shortly. So see you in a bit. Bye.